gorgeous. I have been waiting for this day since the first time you got in my car. I have always known you would be the person that I spent my life with. From today until your last days, you will have a man who will be by your side to everything. You will always have someone to help you in the barn, someone to have ice cream dates with, and someone, you know, whether you like it or not, will always tell you the truth. Someone who will be by your side when you're sick and crying on the way home from rodeos. Today is the day I have been waiting for since I first fell in love with you. I am so happy to be spending forever with you. Thank you for going on this journey of life with me. Hello! Look how handsome you look! To my handsome husband, today is finally the day, the day I get to marry my very best friend. I couldn't imagine going through this life without you. You are the most caring, loving, selfless person I have ever met. Thank you for giving me everything I have ever wanted in my life and more. You accept me as I am with all my imperfections and love me endlessly. Thank you for showing me my worth and make me want to be a better person every day. I am so excited to start this next chapter of life together and all the crazy life adventures we will make as a family. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of Rhett's life. Rhett and I are so lucky to have you in our lives. You are an amazing father, and I am so proud to call you my husband. I love you with my entire heart, Cameron Allen, Shane Hancock. I will see you soon. Love, your wife. I will love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives. Thank you for everything you have brought into my life. For one last time, your fiance. Marriage has been designated by God for the comfort and the fulfillment of humanity. It is therefore enshrined in dignity and in honor for all who will enter into it lawfully and in true affection. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or flippantly, but soberly with deliverance before Almighty God. The Apostle Paul uses the metaphor of marriage to signify the special union that Christ has with his people. It is my prayer that both of you will allow Jesus to help bind your lives together. Because marriage, while it's a time of joy, there are tough days. And when we have both, we're all human, and we've all given 100%, sometimes there's a gap. Jesus will stand in the gap. He will make sure that if you allow him in your marriage, he will guarantee that your marriage will endure all of your earthly days. Rhett Allen Hancock, I not only have a promise to make your daddy, but I also have some promise to make to you. I thank your daddy every day for allowing me to be a part of your life. I promise to always put you before myself. 
You have taught me to be a more patient, loving, and courageous person. I promise to always care for you and be there for you through life's journeys. I promise to teach you how to be kind, good-hearted person even when times get tough. I promise to comfort you when you're sad, sick, or just when you need someone to listen. I promise to show you a healthy relationship through the way that I treat your dad. Most of all, I promise to always remember, even though I didn't give you the gift of life, life gave me the gift of you. I love you, little man, and I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I, Cameron. I, Cameron. Take you, Kyra. Take you, Kyra. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death parts us. Till death parts us. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. I, Kyra. Hi, Kyra. Take you, Cameron. Take you, Cameron. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death parts us. Till death parts us. As God as my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. And for as much as you, Cameron, and you, Kyra, have vowed together in the presence of God and this company, I declare you, husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. If you know Kyra, then you know she is sophisticated, determined, and devoted, all qualities of a great woman, a great wife. Cameron, you are so lucky to be here today with her by your side. Fate has brought you to your wedding day, the start of a beautiful life together. Cameron is truly the man she has been waiting for, someone to support her, cherish her, and to stand beside her. Your lives are going to be filled with an abundance of joy. May the hard days be few and far between, and the flame of love never diminish. I would like to thank every, everyone for coming and celebrating this special day with two amazing people. The day that my beautiful sister got to marry the man that not only fulfills her life, but also with love and happiness. All my life I have looked up to you and wanted to follow you and tried to imagine I would be as pretty as you someday, and I'm still working on that part. I'm so happy for the both of you, and I'm so glad you got to find someone that loves you as much as you love him. I've known Cam for about six years, and believe it or not, um, we actually hated each other when we met. And unfortunately, I missed Cam and Kyra's uh, trial run back in high school. So uh, when they told me they rekindled things, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect out of it. And it wasn't long before every time Cam had a chance to drive the four hours up here, he was doing it. And it was crazy because every time I called him, it seemed like he was either going to, coming from, or currently over here at the horse stall shoveling horse poop. And that's when I realized that any guy that's willing to spend every moment of his off time in Pennsylvania with Kyra, even if it means shoveling horse poop, uh, it, it must be true love.